here. This is our first time seeing this place, so let's go check it out. Come on, let's do a full walk around together. middle big middle section this Big section right there. There's this section. Okay, in the front, we got two smaller sections. They're in there, separated by one bigger section in the middle. One little one cute little section right here by the coming up on the drive through. Okay, need some stuff. It's a section of the dumpster pad. Okay, this is drive through. Okay, 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 it's not too bad. Looks up pretty good, you know, as far as the the weed situation, not bad at all, not bad at all. The plants, good bit of them are dead, not all of them, but I think we have really good bones to work with here, guys. It's a little, it's a little thing, section over here. And then I think that over there is gonna be our last section. We got the drive through coming on around and this. Okay. All right. So, guys, when I tell you that we are in the mountains, believe me, we are in the mountains. We are in beautiful, beautiful, wise Virginia. We are at the Lowe's right now. I'm waiting on Harley to uh, to finish paying for the plants. And we are doing a landscape at the McDonald's. We are so, so super excited to be here. It's cold today though, guys. It is 30 degrees out there. And the wind, it seems like the wind's always blowing in Virginia. Everywhere that we've been in Virginia, it's very windy. But, uh, but yeah, when we got here, since it, it dropped down, I'd say at our house, it was like 27. So I'd say it probably got even a little bit lower here last night. So they had mostly everything covered. And so and it didn't really look like there was a whole, whole lot. So I was kind of getting a little bit worried because we are, we're very, very rural right now. We're probably, I'd say a good hour from any kind of bigger city like maybe like Kingsport or something like that, um, which I could be wrong. I'm not very, very familiar. I have to look at the map to be for sure. But the way we came in, guys, we are very, very rural. We came through the mountains and which thankfully there's a Lowe's right here. It seems like in this little part of town, there's the McDonald's, there's the Lowe's, you know, and like a couple things to eat. And so everything's like very close together. So we were thankful for that. So we, uh, we, we pulled in, you know, we did a little bit of a look around. You know, we scoped everything out and kind of got an idea of how big everything was going to be, which there was a lot of landscape, very, very big landscape beds that were very thin as far as plants go. The plants that were in there, the ones that were still alive were very small and there was a lot of empty space. So we knew right away we were going to, we were going to need a lot of plants. 
So it was kind of like a little nerve-wracking when we pulled it up and I it kind of looked like they didn't have a whole whole lot of plants here right now because we have we have a lot more at our lows right now we have a lot lot more variety but I feel like our climate even though we're not that far away just a couple hours away I feel like they probably do stay in the lower temperatures a little bit longer than we do so they're probably still waiting on several shipments of plants which we kind of knew that was a possibility but we bought them out of as much stuff as we could. We got, I feel like, a pretty good variety. The more we, you know, the longer we were in there and the more stuff we pulled, the better I felt, you know, because we were getting more, because we, we have a lot, a lot of space to fill. <laughs> Here comes Arlie. So I'm super excited about what we got. And we're going to have to make a few trips to take it. Did everything go good? Yep, everything okay. went great. I tell them kind of everything that's going on. I tell them we're probably going to have to make a couple trips. Because yeah. I don't know exactly how many plants we can tell you later, but I know what was there like six carts. So it's not like the huge, mm -hmm. like the big lumber carts or anything, but like the garden center carts. I think we got six or seven good full carts. Are you counting the plants? He's going to tell you. <laughs> he can tell you. 124 plants. Wow, okay. That's awesome. And a lot of them are small. They're like creeping flocks, stuff like that. Because they really, guys, they honestly did not have that much of a variety. We love Lowe's. Their plants always do well for us. But especially coming into the beginning of the season, there's a lot, lot less to pick from. Uh, so uh, we did the best we could. But I think it's going to be great, guys. Yeah, everything we got is beautiful and looks great. So come on, guys. Let's get this stuff loaded. I like that bird. Guys, I just got out of the truck and I just realized I did not bring my tall tripod. What are we gonna do? How am I going to set you guys up? How are you gonna be tall enough to see what we're doing? What in the world? You would think we'd have this down by now. We're still doing the thing where we think we're filming clips. We haven't even hit record. Not remembering the tripod. Are we even YouTubers or what? <laughs> Carly's trying to rearrange back here. Um, we didn't bring the drill either, which was something that we needed to move this board back because we were trying to think of how we were going to haul these plants. So uh, <laughs> we're going to do the best we can. We're going to try to fit as many on the back as we can, fit as many in the back of the truck as we can. And we're very close. Like you can't actually, no, that's not it. I was going to say you can't see it from here, but it's very close to here. So we're going to take the, the first load and then we're going to come back and get the rest. beautiful spread of flowers oh my I love it okay we got the red dianthus we got white candy tuff pink creeping fox white creeping fox we got these little mops got some bigger arborvitaes uh, like globe shape and you already know Look how beautiful. Look at Look at that. <laughs> that looks so nice back there. Okay, yeah, we fit them all in. A hundred and how many? Twenty? But but you see, yeah, they're in a lot of them are in flats. And they're small, so. so much, wise Virginia Lowe's. <laughs> okay guys, we just got back over here. We actually, we had to do another plant run we went, we had to go to Kingsport actually, cause that was the, the closest Lowe's from here. And they actually did have a much bigger variety because once we got back with the other stuff, even though we did have a good amount of plants, we felt like there wasn't, there wasn't really enough of some of the things we got like these mops and there wasn't enough variety. Um, 
of stuff and, and like color that we didn't get any roses or anything. they didn't have any there but we were able to get a lot of roses and these are the ones that bloom from the beginning of spring until frost so that'll be some beautiful red color all year long and then we got you know to mix with the um, like we got the daffodils and stuff like that which will return from year to year but they only bloom in the spring they are not summer blooming um, but they do they you can leave them in the ground and they overwinter here uh, very and they multiply under the ground here as well and then we got some of um, the blue star junipers and we got some little I can't even hardly tell where they are in this when I'm looking back but some sky pencils there's a few of those in there but uh, I think now we should have plenty enough to where we don't feel like uh, you know we're having to stretch. yeah really stretch it because as you can see behind me the landscape <laughs> I mean look that little Nandina look at both of them they're so tiny in that big landscape and this that right there is a big landscape too and then this over here and then there's a big one which I did a walk around in the beginning and I showed you all the clips but this uh, store has a very very big landscape which is okay but if you're trying to fill in spaces like this but you don't want to overcrowd stuff because stuff can get overcrowded very easily if you're not careful but and you have to always take into consideration the the mature you know full mature date of every plant so you don't want to put stuff too close together you want to give it space as it grows but uh but yeah i think we got a good a good variety of stuff <laughs> Look, that might be a <laughs> we were just talking the over the weekend uh, with uh, someone that they don't have um, hardly any McDonald's flags anywhere, so it was crazy that they have one at this store. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, so we're kind of going to go around. We're going to pull up all the dead plants, and we're going to try to you know arrange stuff to like you know design or whatever and that kind of can take us probably the longest amount of time as you guys know if you've been following along harley is real quick on a shovel um he called 811 as soon as we got here let them know the location they went ahead and they told us that if we were staying inside of the landscape that we were good to go um because all that stuff had already been you know it's been cleared before just to be very careful um, but uh, but yeah, if you're ever digging anywhere, always call, check where any underground lines or anything like that are. So you know you better be safe than sorry, guys. So we're gonna try to go ahead and uh, we're gonna set these plants off, and then we're gonna go pick up our other ones out of the. Um, we were able to store them in the the dumpster pad over here, uh, which is funny too, because as we were putting them in there people were driving by and like lots of people was checking it out because it looked like and I was like I wonder if people are thinking we're throwing these plants away <laughs> and they were there were some people that walked up on us and was asking are y'all throwing those away like you could tell a plant people out there if they seen that they were definitely going to go try to save some plant lives you know <laughs> but but no we were just storing them in there while we had to go get these so uh yeah so let's uh let's get this started what are we gonna say let's redo this landscape <laughs> okay guys come on let's, let's redo, redo this landscape, landscape. <laughs> yeah guys we're gonna start right here in the front I feel like this is gonna be the main focal area when people walk right up you know to go inside the lobby when they're coming out of the drive-through they look to see this um, but see this is what I mean you know like look at that <laughs> that weed is that weed is almost bigger than the Nandina but you see there's very, very minimal weeds in here. So it's not going to be that bad. And we're going to pull. There's not that many plants in here either. So I don't know if you can really tell from perspective on here. But this is a pretty good size space. Like maybe you can see like with Harley and standing in there. Like how big this area really truly is. So this, this was not enough plants to really make this feel complete. <laughs> Yeah, see, I figured that would pull right up very easily. So we're just gonna pretty much do that. <laughs>
second plant hall. Now this was a hard area to design because it was a big, just wide open rectangle. It was very hard to kind of come up with a design. I know it kind of looks all over the place right now because of the other stuff sitting everywhere. And we didn't come back on this half because this top is over. It would not get any water and plants would not survive back there. And it looks like it's a highly trafficked area anyway but this is what we got going on so far okay guys quick check back in we uh it's hard to tell you know right now because we still have everything sitting everywhere but we got the front finished and then we're working on the two side fronts i guess you'd uh call it but we uh we got that area and this area and they are kind of like twins so we try when we have areas that are similar like that we try to mimic or even mirror if possible the design that we have on it but here as you can tell we have our flagpole and our sign so we kind of had to come up with a little bit of a different idea of how to make it look similar where we couldn't make it identical. So we used the same plants and we set them up in a similar pattern, but just there's less over here because there's less room, obviously. But we went with the golden mop, the phlox, and we went in the same pattern around here as we did in the bed over there. We did the center with, um, we alternated where well, we did the two bigger, Arborvitaes, and then we did the golden mop in the middle, and then we did flux around it. So we um, mimicked that out here, and then we are going to put two Nandinas. Oh <laughs> wow, that's a lot of fabric under there. Um, that's one of the reasons why there's not a lot of weeds in here. Um, but we're going to uh, put two Nandinas in the front, and then that over there is going to be very, very similar, except it's going to have. A uh, few more things and it's gonna have three of those right there and then we just put one of those in the back just to fill that kind of blank space and that way it kind of matches with over there call it a day for now just because it's getting a little bit late we got up real super early this morning um, and traveled up here and we spent most of the day sourcing all the materials we had to go to two different lows um, which that's totally fine or whatever but we spent a lot of time doing that so uh, it's uh, getting a little bit later now and we're getting hungry so we're probably gonna we're gonna get all the plants that are left together and we're gonna put them back 
in the dumpster pad so they're safe overnight and then uh, we'll come back in the morning and we'll we'll finish it and everything so all right guys we you need to be back here but they need to be back here early in the morning right yeah, first thing we're getting started early so you you better be on time okay i'm gonna i'm gonna be looking at the time when i when you get here Good job. <laughs> About to check out and go finish planting the planties. <laughs> okay, guys, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> We're back again. We're getting the plants loaded up once again. We've loaded and unloaded these now several times, which is okay because they're just plants, you know. Uh, but we're back and we uh, we had to wait a few minutes because when we got here, we had them stored around in the dumpster pad and um, the dumpster people came, so they came. And while they were doing that, we were just kind of standing over here, right here on the side, you know, waiting for them to finish. So we kind of started looking at this little area here. Um, and so we were kind of seeing what we could do with this. And we have an area similar to this at one of our stores that we mow, where it's like on the back of, uh, I guess it's kind of like the back of their dumpster pad too, ain't it? Yep. Uh, which it's a much larger area than this this is a kind of a small area but ours it just was like so so much mulch and i feel like it was kind of overkill and it's like in, in back here in an area where you know you don't really see it and i feel like it would be much better like if this was the little landscape right here and that just turned into all grass because uh there's the weeds try to grow up in here really bad anyway and i didn't notice they have a really good fabric under there so it's just weeds growing on top of the mulch. Mulch it. So once we get done with the plants, they're gonna send another crew in and do mulch, brand new mulch on top of it, which is really gonna to top it off. And I really hate that we aren't gonna have that footage because it would look, that's really kind of what ties it together at the very end when you put either new mulch or new rocks or whatever. But we foraged these beautiful stones right here from the, the hill in the back. So that was super awesome. And I think that, or more definitely definitely rocks, they say. yeah for sure for sure because uh, they uh sell rocks at least where we're from they sell it by the weight so the heavier the rock the more expensive it is yeah but uh it was on the hill so we just pulled it down and we uh, made this little like rainbow shape so i think uh, i think that's going to be much better be way easier maintenance and yeah i think it'll be easier for the people that mow here all right so harley's gonna put these in the ground
we put the mop right here in the middle and then we put um, the red dianthus around the pole and I know you can't really see them right now but they're coming in there's some of the is it called monkey grass yeah. some monkey grasses all the way around there's one there you know one there 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 and then in back there you know so they will come up and fill this front area around and there's also some on this front bed too you can kind of see one coming up right there and then there's they're like in the middle and stuff so we did the dianthus flocks the adorable daffodils and did the mop on the end there's three grasses down here at this at the beginning at the point just an alternating mop boxwood or not boxwood but um sky pencil those are actually hollies we didn't put anything in the middle here because those are um big huge stumps under there <laughs> but we were able to squeeze in the dianthus in between all of these stumps so i think it's pretty cute so we're gonna go over here now and get this front section Okay, yeah, we decided we're gonna plop one right there. Harley dug that rock up, so now it is part of the landscape. It used to be under the ground in the landscape, now it's above the ground. to fly away but uh okay we're down to the last section um harley we already know three things for sure like the placement because we've been thinking about that but we have a little bit of a variety left we're getting down to the nitty-gritty guys we don't have that much of a selection left and then you really have to be careful you know with the placement and everything but uh but yeah we've been having a really great time sometimes picking the the design can take a, you know, can take a little bit of time because, which obviously things can be transplanted sometimes, but some things don't like to be transplanted, and you do run the risk of losing a plant if it has been really well established and you dig it up. It, you have a better chance, the bigger hole you dig, the better chance of survival, but, um, so you want to make sure that where you, that it's in the right home before you put it in the ground. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, all right. It's it's doing this crazy thing because it's like it keeps going like hot and cold. Like yep. it's consistently windy, mm -hmm. but it'll go from like sunny, hot, warm, windy to shady, cool, cold, breezy, windy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's one of those things. But look at that! Like that is pretty cool. <laughs> the McDonald's flag and the American flag is flying. They've been flapping all day long. <laughs> McDonald's of America. Yes. But, uh, but yeah, and there are also a few of the little grasses. I can't even hardly see it on here, but there's a few of those little grasses, the monkey grass, that are going to come up. Let's see. Can you, can you see where even is it? It's right there. <laughs> It's hard to see them but they should be up you know give them like a couple weeks they should be up and looking really cute and i feel like the placement there's a few of them like there's one in between like right there i think that is um there's also these places right here stumps big huge stumps can't dig anything 
but um, I think once the little grasses come up it'll fill any of these like places that seem like they're not filled in but also the, the placement is still to where when like the daffodils those will only bloom they'll bloom all spring and then you let the leaves kind of go brown and then you can cut those off and uh, but you want to leave the greenery the leaves as long as you can because the leaves actually feed nutrients to the bulb so leave them as long as you can before you um whack them off if it doesn't bother you leave them all season um but there still will be a good placement of plants that will be up all year round so like even the little flocks when it's not blooming it'll it'll look like a little green shrub so it'll still hold its place and then the the roses this is one that we bought um, but we did reuse one that's so far been the only plant we have reused some of the nandinas but as far as like in its actual placement where it was when we got here that rose right there is the only one that we have left in its proper placement so uh yes yeah, original placement <laughs> which i guess it would have been its proper placement if we're gonna if we're deciding to leave it there <laughs> yeah. um, no, but uh, it looks like it's doing pretty well. Um, the other ones, they just didn't look good enough to keep. And there was a lady that came through the drive-thru as we were pulling up. A couple of them in the drive-thru that were still alive, but they just were, you know, they didn't look their best. Which turns out, guys, we figured out exactly why the plants died and why the ones that were still alive were not thriving. They used, remember in the beginning I said it was some really good landscape fabric where well, we started digging closer. Harley started digging literally <laughs> and we found out that was not landscape fabric. That was hardscape fabric. So that was not allowing the proper water drainage. So the water that was getting in there was like standing there, ponding up under there. Some of the stuff probably drowned and then some of the stuff like froze over the winter. Um, so yeah guys if you do because it is really good for weed protection because there's hardly any weeds at all in this landscape but if you're gonna put plants in it make sure you dig a big enough hole around your plant to where the water can drain properly and your plant is not going to die or suffer so all that being said we need to finish Okay, that's the little section over there that we just did earlier. And this is the one right here in the middle. We just did a little pattern of the sky pencils and then we put the dianthus and the phlox around it as well. There are some little grasses that are gonna come up in here too. Like there's one, yeah, there's one that you can see pretty good right there but they're they're scattered all the way down through there we have rose right there rose back there mop nandina that's one of the ones we reused all the nandinas are reused we didn't purchase any nandinas that's a um candy tuft phlox dianthus phlox you know it's good, like a pattern of the dianthus and phlox around the sign there and then we have, we did a, a tri pattern of the mops in the front. And then we have Candy Tuft right there. And then we have two Nandinas, a rose. And then we did a tri pattern of Sky Pencil Hollies around the Arborvitae shrub. Okay. And then there's a, there's this one, that one, and the one on the other side are a tri pattern of the same thing. So we try to work in threes and fives, stuff like that, because that's kind of what's visually appealing in landscaping, stuff like that. Sometimes that doesn't go for every single time, but most really of the time. always just depends on the layout of the bed or wherever, wherever you're working, because. You know it can be however and honestly if that's not how you want to do it you don't have to do it that way you can that's the good thing about gardening and stuff you can do it really however you want as long as you know you make the plant happy it has to be in the right environments to thrive always check the labels when you're buying a plant check the hardiness for the zones check the type of environment it likes to be in some things like to be more wet some things like to be more dry and try to plant like things together, together. Yeah, so this has been a really, really 
great experience. 10 out of 10 for Wise here. Yeah, all the employees are super, super kind. Shout out to them. I don't know any of their names, but the manager's so, so sweet. She's helped us with everything that we've needed. They let us store the plants last night. And we didn't know, because our McDonald's, they have much bigger dumpsters, I guess, and they don't do their dumpster pickup every single day, but they do here. And we had put all of our plants in front of the dumpster. So shout out to whoever the employees were that moved our stuff safely and perfectly around where the dumpster would not get them. So that was, that was super awesome. I'm so thankful for that. Uh, but besides that, everything has went really well. There's still, like these landscapes are massive. So even with the amount of plants that we put in, there still looks, you know, like there's space in between, but all of these plants and shrubs, yeah, they will grow. So you have to keep that in mind. Don't plant stuff too close together. If it says it's gonna get four feet wide, keep that in mind. Don't plant anything on two feet of any, you know, where around it on either side of it yeah i hope you guys uh enjoyed this we got a really really good variety of plants here i think it's going to provide some some nice year-round color and interest there's different different shapes really different like textures that's something you want to think of when you're doing landscaping think about textures think about year-round color like seasonal color because you want stuff in your landscape or you might not but a lot of people want stuff that's going to look good in every season so get you some stuff that blooms in spring summer fall i know there's not much that blooms in winter but you can get the color from like the golden mops those are always so gorgeous they keep that beautiful yellow color all year round but uh but yeah is there anything else that you can think guys this has been a great time <laughs> we've really enjoyed it and uh, we can't wait to share with y'all uh, the next McDonald's store we're going to. So. Uh, but I know a lot of you guys are here for mowing content, and I promise you, Lord willing, we will um, produce some mowing content as well. We still do have all of our residential yards, and we plan on mowing all that, but this year has been a little bit different for us. We have extended our McDonald's contract, and that is something that has been such a blessing for our family and our business because we do love, we love mowing, obviously, but we we'll love doing... Tomorrow. Yeah, we're back at the McDonald's <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, but there will be another yard, another mowing video before you see this because we've mowed in between this. So, But if you haven't seen that and you're watching this, go back and watch that. But, um, but yeah, we definitely, we love doing landscapes and we love planting plants and stuff like that. So we are so thankful to be one of um, the McDonald's um, landscape, landscape crews. Crew. So we will go around wherever they send us. We will tear out stuff that needs to be replaced, put stuff back in, just totally redesign whatever we need to do. So we're pretty much, we're very thankful, but full property maintenance for the McDonald's. So we're very, very thankful for that because it's job security, you know? So it's something that is gonna provide even in the winter time, because that's one thing about this business. It is seasonal and you can make enough money to not have to work in the winter time. That is very, very possible with lawn care services. But we, we are the type that likes to be doing stuff anyway. Even if we didn't have to, we would probably still want to be doing some jobs here and there just because we get bored easy. We love working. Yes, we do. We love working. I'm very thankful. I'm very thankful for that. But, uh, but yeah, guys, so I guess that's pretty much it. We're probably going to, sorry. We're gonna battle wrap that up, guys. We're gonna take up a few more pictures for the owner, send them. He wanted to see what it looked like. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little guys, bit we of. I just can't thank y'all enough for watching this, guys. All of the support that you've given us over the last few months has really helped get us through the winter months when we didn't have much to do. But I read each and every one of the comments and I reply back to each and every one of them as I get time. Guys, bear with me. It might take two or three days for me to get to them because y'all are just so overwhelming. And I love it. I love it so much. And I can't wait to hear from y'all again on what you say on this video. Yes, guys. That's so awesome. Yeah, Harley, he does such a great job at replying to all the comments because that is a lot. That's a hard job, you know, in itself to keep the, because we want to keep the communication going with you guys because, we love guys. yeah, we love all you guys. We love to hear what you, your um, opinions, your, you know, just all your comments. Um, and we're so thankful that there's not hardly any negative comments. So um, that's always great. You guys are always so, so super kind. And we're
we're so thankful for each and every one of you guys. So, uh, yeah, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel if you're not. And please share this video. Share it on all your social medias with anyone that you think might like this kind of content that's kind of all over the place. <laughs> but, sorry. Would you and, well, I was going to say, if there is anything that you wanted us to do for you, email's in the description. Just reach out to us. And, uh, yeah. know, we might work in your area. Yeah, and if you're a company or anything, we love doing, like, PR. We love doing product reviews. That's something we've been able to do with a few companies. And, uh... Yeah, so our P.O. box is in the description as well. Or if you just want to send us anything to our P.O. box, it's down there. And, uh, yeah, we'd be very, very thankful for any and everything. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's awesome. We, we really, really enjoy making these videos, and we hope you enjoy watching them. So we can't wait to do it again. So until, until next time, time see you.